My name is Elizabeth Catlin and I'm the Artistic Director at Metropolitan Ballet Theater and Academy. This is my daughter Estelle, can you wait? And Libby, can you wait? And today we are going to read and dance for you the story Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Reese. And then later Miss Jennifer will have a fun craft to do with the read-along. Giraffes can't dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. <gasps> Dancers, can you all buckle at your knees? <gasps> oh, buckle at your knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. Dancers, can you skip and prance? Let me see, go ahead. Very nice, can you skip and prance as well? Good job, giraffes. Good. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad. Can you be sad? because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and roll. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. Can you freeze up? <gasps> Good. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought, I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. He, then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling. Can you start shuffling your heels? <gasps> Making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying. Can you gently sway your neck? Good. And his tail was swishing around. Can you swish your tail? <laughs> he threw his legs out sideways. Can you throw your legs out sideways? <gasps> out sideways? And he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes I am dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head up and looked up at the moon and stars above. We, can, we all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. So dancers, now I would like you to dance like Gerald and with the music, be as creative as you like. Can you dance a jungle dance? Use your arms nicely.
enjoyed our story giraffes can't dance thank you for joining me and my two little dance uh, giraffes and i hope you have fun with miss jennifer's craft here I'm going to give you a list of all the things that we can hopefully find around your house to do our craft. We are going to need some glue, glue stick or glue bottle. We need some different colored paper. For this craft we need some tan paper or white. You can always color your paper too and some yellow paper. Um, let's see, what else do we need? Some crayons, a pencil, and some scissors. Make sure you get your grown-ups help with your scissors. Okay, so for our craft today, we are going to make these fun little giraffes that you can put your fingers into at the bottom. Mine are a little bit big, but your fingers are much smaller than mine. And they become our giraffe's little dancing legs down at the bottom here. So our first step, we're going to take our yellow piece of paper and we are going to draw five different shapes on our yellow piece of paper. So here's mine. I already have my shapes drawn. We're going to draw a big circle. We're going to draw a little bit of a smaller circle, a long rectangle for our giraffe's neck, and then two little ear shapes. Okay, now you guys can always pause this video while you work on drawing your shapes and then catch back up to me once your shapes are drawn. So there's those. Then on our tan or white piece of paper, we need to draw three different shapes. The first shape is going to be an oval to go on the giraffe's face. And then we need two shapes for the little giraffe horns at the top. And then we can color these a light tan color, or if you already have a tan piece of paper at your house, you can use that without coloring. Okay, so once you get all of those shapes drawn on your pieces of paper, we're going to cut our shapes out. Now. So I have all my shapes cut out here, right? Let's see, I don't think I can hold them all. Yeah, then I have two more little ones sitting down on the table, but I have all of my shapes cut out. So I would like everybody to take their smaller circle first and your oval from our white sheet of paper. We're going to put a little bit of glue on our oval. Then we're going to glue our oval right on the bottom of our circle there. Yeah, just like that. Then we are going to take our two little giraffe ears and we're going to glue them onto the top of our little circle. Just like that. It's looking a little bit like a pig right now, but hopefully he'll turn into more of a giraffe soon. Then we're going to take our two little horns that we cut out here and we're going to glue those right onto the top like that.
just like that. Our next step is going to be to take our giraffe neck and we are going to glue that on the back of his head, just like that. I'm gonna trim my giraffe's neck up a little bit because I think it needs to be a little skinnier for that long giraffe neck. There we go. Ta-da! Now our last step for gluing is going to be to take our big circle and we're gonna glue our giraffe's neck onto the top of our big circle, just like that. Okay, he's getting there. He's looking a little bit more like a giraffe. So now we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut out two little holes at the bottom for your fingers to fit through. So I'm gonna draw my little holes first and we can actually So just like that, and we can follow that, um, that middle line right there straight up into the hole and cut it around and have a little slit in there. So I'm gonna cut those shapes out. There we go. Now our giraffe is looking a little bit plain, so I think that he needs some giraffe polka dots on him and a face. Yeah, so I'm gonna work on that, and I'm hoping that you will be able to do that too. So I'm gonna use my crayons to do that. Right here, my crayons. You can use colored pencils, you can use markers, you can use paint, whatever you have on hand to do that. Let's see, there is my brown crayon. So I'm gonna start by just adding some polka dots all around my giraffe. And I, since I used white paper, I'm gonna color my white paper so that it's a tan color instead of white on the giraffe's face. And I'm gonna put a little bit of dark brown up on the top of those horns there. So right now my giraffe is looking like this. Let me see all your giraffes. How are they looking? Oh, they're looking so good! Good job, guys! Okay, last, we need to give our giraffe a face. I'm gonna put two little circles for his nose, and then I'm gonna switch over to my black crayon, and I'm gonna give him a little smile, and then I'm going to give him two eyes. Now, on my other giraffe here, I had some googly eyes in my craft room that I use. So if you happen to have some of those on hand, those would be a perfect um, thing to use for your eyes. You could use buttons, you can draw your eyes, be creative. There's all kinds of things you could use for your eyes. So right now I'm gonna use my crayon for my eyes on this giraffe. And ta-da, there we go. We have a giraffe and you, 
can put on little shows for him, with him. Yeah, these holes don't fit my fingers. But you have much smaller fingers, so it will work for you guys.